recipe we have is seafood skewers on a bed of, well, shall we just say fast, couscous. So the first thing you need to do for this recipe is to soak your skewers because they're wooden skewers and you don't want them to burn on the stove. And the next thing is the marinade because, you know, the fish can take the marinade quite well. And what we have is something very typical Southern Italian, fennel seeds. So they go into the mortar for their lovely aniseed flavour. And then some green peppercorns. Now you could use black peppercorns, but I like the more aromatic green ones for this recipe. Grind those together, and that is the base flavour that goes into our marinade bowl. And I'm going to put some chilli in, because I like chilli with seafood. And I've decided I'm not putting the seeds in, so I'm just going to trim my chilli like so. And I'm going to take out the membrane from up the centre of the chilli with the seeds attached. And then just mince up the chilli a little bit. I chop the chilli very finely to give that extra little bit of heat. And next comes the garlic, again finely chopped. And in it goes to be followed by a generous swirl of olive oil. So now I'm going to prepare my fish. And I have here some beautiful squid. And this is only the squid pouch. I don't have the tentacles. I have monkfish and I have prawns. I've already given the squid a good rinse. So I slice it, flatten it out and remove the transparent cartilage before slicing it into thin strips to be coated with the marinade. The little chunks of monkfish go in next. And then we have our prawns. So I'm going to just take the head off the prawns and just squeeze the centre like that. And if you just wiggle the tail like that and pull, it should take the intestinal tract out, which it has done. Perfect. And here's the rest of our prawns in. So just coat your fish in this wonderful marinade. It just smells so delicious. This marinade will only take about 15 minutes, so I'm going to pop it in the fridge just to keep it chilled. minutes the mix comes out again and you can thread everything onto the skewers. Lovely artistic little curls for the squid. The monkfish and prawns go straight on and as we didn't put any lemon juice in the marinade we'll add a few slices now. Make sure everything is firmly skewered and then into the hot pan it goes. So while my seafood skewers are cooking I'm going to make a very fast couscous. I'm planning on this taking about five minutes maybe six minutes. That wouldn't be long enough for Fatia's harder grain but for the instant couscous that we get in Ireland, it's plenty of time. Add some vegetable stock for flavour and another slice of lemon to caramelise in the dry pan. Without any oil, these slices turn a lovely golden colour and retain all their juices. So while that's doing, I'm onto my next pan here and I have some olive oil and of course some garlic and chilli. I'm just gonna let them cook for a tiny minute and back to our couscous. Take a fork and fluff it up to make sure all the liquid is absorbed. Then in goes the dressing and some flaked toasted almonds, which I think always works well with couscous. Some flat leaf parsley and a little extra pepper. Mix and fork it lightly. Oh, the color is just beautiful. That's gorgeous. And my lemons are just done. Ooh. And then I have some rocket. This is one of my favourite salad leaves. And to fork all of this through. And it looks so beautiful. Fish skewers with couscous. The sea and sunshine of Mazzara del Vallo served up on a plate.